entrance him for the soul of Anthony de Souza on the first death anniversary by Angeline de Souza and family mass contributions thanksgiving and god's blessing on the 40th wedding anniversary of Frederick and Sagai Mary by their family thanksgiving on the occasion of 21st wedding anniversary of Vincent and Mary Flora by the family in remembrance of Bernadette Rani 33rd death anniversary from Joseph Anthony Raj and family for the soul of SJ Sudas offered by Nirmala and family for the souls of William Patrick, Monica Mary, Harold Joseph Fernandez, Peter Fernandez and family. Mass intentions for the family tree souls of Korea family. For the intentions of Yonak Devadas and family. For the Lord's mercy on the whole world by Shiny Anthony. Commemorating the 100th birthday of the late Thomas Appa by TCR family. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord has called us back towards the altar. We have gathered here around the altar. Let us pray for one another, especially for the people who are suffering who are under pain and agony, let us remember them in a special way that God pours down His mercy and all the blessings that the destruction that is happening, the pain that people are undergoing may disappear and all live in peace and happiness. In order to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for forgiveness. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me to the to Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. O God who restores us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy in faith and hope, that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with the divinity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Jews came to Lystra from Antioch and Iconium, and having persuaded the people, they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered about him, he rose up and entered the city. And on the next day, he went on with Barnabas to Derbe. When they had preached the gospel to that city, and had made many disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch, strengthening the souls of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the faith, and saying that through many tribulations we must enter the kingdom of God. And when they had appointed elders for them in every church with prayer and fasting, they committed them to the Lord in whom they believed. Then they passed through Pisidia and came to Pamphylia. And when they had spoken the word in Perga, they went down to Atalia. And from there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work which they had fulfilled. And when they arrived, they gathered the church together and declared all that God had done with them and how he had opened a door of faith to the Gentiles. And they remained no little time with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 145. Your response shall be, Your friends make known, O Lord, the glory of your reign. Your, your friends, friends make known, O Lord, Lord the, the glory, glory of, of your, your reign. All your works shall thank you, O Lord, and your faithful all one bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your mighty deeds. Response, your, your friends, friends make known, O Lord, Lord the, the glory of, of your, your reign. reign. They shall make known your might to the children of men and the glorious splendor of your reign. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule endures for all generations. Response, your, your friends, friends make known, O Lord, Lord, the glory of your reign. reign. Let my mouth speak the praise of the Lord. Let all flesh bless his holy name forever, for ages unending. Response, your, your friends, friends make known, O Lord, Lord the, the glory of your reign. reign.
the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I go away and I will come to you. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced, because I go to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does take place, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. The Gospel of the Lord to for the King. And the king asked him, Where is the money? Where is the property? He pointed out towards the people and said, This is the property. This is the money of the church. Because in those three days, he had already sold everything and given to the people. And he pointed out to the people saying, these are the finances of the church. This is the property of the church. The king was so furious, he commanded him to be fried on a pan. Fried on a pan, not with the normal heat, more than normal. He was being fried. There were soldiers standing around him. He said to one of the soldiers, Sir, you have burnt me on one side. You have fried me on one side. Please turn me over to the other side so that I may be completely fried for the Lord. Turn me to the other side so that I may be completely fried for Christ. There was something that was inspiring, commanding St. Lawrence to accept this. He knew all that is being of the command of the Lord. He was listening to his conscience. He was listening to the command of God and acting accordingly. So, today we are here. Anything give a command, the computer works. Everything depends. By mistake, if you have three fingers on your key, relation of times, you don't even know should be handling the keyboard because anything can form a command. So, there is something called command. And Jesus, according to this command of God, he works miracles, he used to work the things because of the command of God and all that he did, he would thank the Lord. He would thank his father and say, all that I am doing is because of my father. I am nothing, father is greater than me and all that I am doing is because of the command of God. Am I doing? Whose command am I listening to? Am I obedient to the word of God or the command of God? If I really analyze my life, there is something called conscience. And this is the conscience wherein God speaks to us. Do I listen to this conscience whenever I do some work? Whenever I am faithful to my conscience, it is there that God dwells. And if I always listen to my conscience, and if I am faithful to my conscience, I shall always do good works. That is the command that is coming from God. If I don't listen to my conscience, naturally I would do bad. I am away from God. Apart from all these things, there is also something command from the world. The command of money, the command of riches, the command of so many things, power, honor, glory, name, fame, I, mine, ego, all these things are there. But to which do I listen to? 
these are the worldly commands my conscience is the command of god a divine realm there is a worldly realm to whom do i adhere to do i listen to my conscience or to my world so this is what i need to understand very clearly remember in today's uh, first reading so beautifully paul was always listening to the command of god he, this reading is speaking of the first missionary journey of saint paul and he was so faithful irrespective of the persecution irrespective of unwelcome attitude of people jews were always behind him threatening him and pulling him pushing him and throwing out but he was faithful to god because he was always listening to the command of god all that he did he was faithful to his conscience we need to spread it to others and that's how we spread god's kingdom here on earth brothers and sisters that the sacrifice of mine and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church may our prayers rise up to you o lord together with the sacrificial offerings so that purified by your graciousness we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, He never ceases to offer Himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, all come with Paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. We sing, Hosanna! We sing, Hosanna! Holy, holy. Hosanna in 
the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your elders worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Of the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the, the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins. Happy are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, please come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you now as if you were already there and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. A prayer to Saint Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only son, in you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of God. Obtain for us grace, mercy and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ. Increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be with you and with your spirit. Grant me the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, 
and the holy spirit come upon you and remain with you now and forever amen the mass is ended go in the peace of christ thanks be to god Still revealed.